Good day, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Now comes one of my favorite ones, live bait for tuna, Cape Yellowtail if you're in the Cape, um, Garrick, KZN or Larry's as they call it down in the Cape. You can also catch cob on it, there's just so many fish species you can catch with a live bait. Okay, so what we require for this is our 6-0 tuna circle, a pair of side cutters, mustard scissors, some Dacron, doesn't make a difference on the breaking strain, yo-yo. Um, this is two by three power swivel, uh, 28 kilo, 21 kilo, it's up to you depending on the size of the fish that you're actually targeting. You can also go heavier for those uh, Cape albacore, yellowtail. Okay, that's our Kingfisher leader line. Grapnel sinker, 12 ounce, and of course the smaller floats that we sell here at Kingfisher. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Because I'm using a moss bunker, which is most probably the one of the most universal bait species that we get. Uh, I'm using a 6-0 tuna circle, so I just need one of those. That's our mustard tuna circle, guys. It's silver in color, only because I'm using a live moss bunker. If I was using something like a shad for a garrick, I'd be using a bigger hook. But everything to size. Okay, let's just clean up. Uh, I got one of those power swivels. I'm happy with that, that and that. Okay. So let's not cut it too much. Again, all of this depends on the depth of water that you're actually fishing. First thing, snell the hook. One, two, three times around. You can obviously go more. Freaking easy, there we go. Pull tight. <coughs> cut off. Okay, let's just say you're fishing in four meters of water, quite shallow. You're gonna make this three meters in length. One, two, three, okay. So there is our three meters of nylon. We're gonna have one meter to our sinker. Okay, so sinker first. We just have a figure of eight. One, two, three. Don't forget to add a weak link to this trace as well. You don't want to get stuck. And break it off. There we go. So weak link is just basically a simple figure of eight tied just above the actual swivel. There we go. There's a weak link. Okay. From the bottom up, the big R is going to go to your leader. The small eye at the bottom in a straight line is going to be for your sinker. Let's just put that over there. And all we do is one, two, three times around through the back. One meter. Cut that off. <clears throat> we then take our trace that we've already snelled. We take our float. Stick it through. Pull it up. Put that in, we then take the bottom part of it and we attach it to that little arm that comes out. Okay, and again, we just put it to the side there. Figure of eight, one, two, three. Okay, so that's pretty much our trace that we're doing. There's our sinker and there's our trace floating up. Now, very good little idea is to take some Dacron like that. Just melt one side of it so it doesn't come undone. Take the Dacron through it, open it up like that, take it around and back through the center like that. So we go around it twice. Then what we do is we give ourselves a little bit of a loop in it, depending on the size that you wanted to make it. Go through again the center of it, and once again through the other side like that. 
cut off tag end, take your lighter, just lightly melt it so it doesn't come undone. Here we go. So what we've basically got here is a loop. Okay, we're going to take our live mozzie through the eye with a cable tie. The cable tie is then going to go through there and you pull it tight. So there's a lot of movement for the moss bunker to move around. Easier for the hook to set, obviously, when the tuna or the yellowtail eat it. And depending on how much movement you actually want to give your, your live bait, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. So there's our trace done for live baiting for either a tuna, a garrick, um, yellowtail, cob if you want. Obviously cob you just make it a lot shorter so it sits closer to the bottom. But there we go. It's a simple trace like that. We then take our yo-yo and once again we're just going to take the float off. The yo-yo part we just clip onto there. Turn it around, we wrap him around, da, 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 da. there we go, and back through, like that. We then take our trace holder, and again, just open it up, put it inside. So at the end of the day, you almost probably end up with maybe 10 traces in here, with about four or five floats, and I'm just going to stick them in here. You could even have your grapnel sinkers in there if you wanted. So in there, you'll have all your traces all set up, your sinkers. When you go to the beach, that's all you're going to take, either your live bait, if you're going to be fishing with live bait, or a little bait box with your baits in. Close it up, like that, and you can walk down the beach with everything that you need for droning. It's quick, it's simple. There we go, guys. Go out there and have fun.